Okay, let's start out with this question. Why even make a polymer framed, single stack, nine millimeter, double action, single action, hammer fired handgun? Talking about the Springfield Armory XDE four and a half inch. Stay tuned. <laughs> I've had the 3.3 inch XDE for a while now, but it's the Langdon Tactical version, and I bought it direct from Langdon. I've shared my thoughts on that one, and I will again in the future. But I've been very curious about the 4.5 inch version available from Springfield Armory, and I wanted to try it out. Not only to see how I like the slightly larger version of the gun, but also to see how I like the factory gun without those Langdon upgrades and trigger work. This gun is a loner. I didn't buy it, at least not yet. <laughs> as you might expect, the gun feels basically the same in the hand as the smaller counterpart, but you can feel the additional weight and a little more forward center of gravity. I missed my towel and grip, but since this gun is on loan to me from Springfield, I couldn't really put one on it. The standard factory sights on the XDE are excellent. It's a combat three dot configuration, but the front sight is a bright red fiber that's easy to acquire. The double action, single action trigger is long for that first shot, as is to be expected. But the trigger movement is smooth and it has no perceptible grit. Like any good double action, single action, hammer fired gun, the XDE has a combination safety and decocker. This allows the user to safely drop the hammer on a loaded chamber and then put the gun on safe. This really adds more depth to the safety for those who want it. It's got a better sight for this type of shooting, that nice front fiber optic. Springfield Armory's magazine release buttons tend to be on the small side, and this one is no exception, but it is effective and I didn't find it difficult to reach or hard to push. Okay, I'm taking a mulligan on that. Um, I went down and looked at the target, shook my head in disgust, and then lowered my head in shame. Uh, I thought I would try it one more time with a different ammo. This is Fioki, 124 grain ball. The previous was uh, PMC bronze. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't think I did. But let's see if I can improve that. And then either way, I'll talk about why I think that might be Uh, it looks like maybe I tightened it up a little bit, so that's good. Where you might find some difficulty in dropping the empty magazine is simply with the size of the gun and the fact that the heel of your hand, uh, the heel of your palm, uh, might interfere. This is something you can practice to remove. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are going to want to look at the trigger, so let's take a quick look at it. And I'm going to do a measurement first. Two measurements actually. I'm going to do one double action and one single action. Let's start with the double action, and this is the Lyman digital gauge, of course. And 
and it is just under 10 pounds at 9 pounds and 10.5 ounces. Actually, it's respectably under 10 pounds. And then we'll go to single action. And that is uh, just a little bit under five pounds. So four pounds, 14.2 ounces. So those are the numbers on the trigger for those of you who are interested in the numbers. Now let's talk just for a second about the actual trigger motion. So as you can see, it's in double action mode. Hammers all the way forward and the triggers all the way forward. So you get a little bit of a long pull, but you can see, and again, I don't have ginormous hands. You can see that I still have plenty of finger, even more than I might need. Yeah, pretty much all the way to that first joint. So I've got plenty of finger in there, so it's a good trigger reach. It's a nice, steady pull. There's no grit at all. Very nice double action pull, actually. Now the single action, and this is where I will remove the magazine. And we'll start it this way. So with single action now, you fired that first shot double action, and now your hammer's back and you're ready for the second shot. If you let the trigger go all the way forward, like it is right now, there is some take up quite a bit, probably a quarter inch of take up right there. There's no uh, resistance to it or anything, and there's no grit, so it's very nice and smooth, but just know that it's there. And then, nice crisp break at the wall. So once you hit that wall, it's a crisp break. Now the reset to stay in single action, not bad. That's pretty short. You get good feedback, you can hear it click, and you can feel it in your finger. And now just a little bit of take up again, back to the wall, for that nice break. That's the trigger. I will say I shoot this gun more accurately than any other, but I did find that once I settled in and took my time and focused on the fundamentals, I could make consistently nice groups. Okay, for those of you who want to see actual numbers for that group that I consider to be probably the best group that I shot, at least the best group I recorded shooting, and it looks like probably right here. So center to center on these holes, 1.292 and a half. And you know how a lot of times I like to do the best three. And the reason I do that is because it helps remove the variable of me and my errors as a shooter. And there were two shots right here and then this one. So those are certainly the tightest three. And it looks like center to center, those are 761. So just a little tiny bit over three quarters of an inch. That's offhand at 10 yards. And I'll take that. With this ammo shortage, I have to limit my live fire, so I only put a couple hundred rounds through the gun, but I really enjoyed doing it. So I know some of you are waiting for me to tell you why you should own this gun, or maybe why you shouldn't own it. But that's not what this review is for. As always, what I try to do is present you with meaningful information based on my personal experience and, yes, my personal tastes and preferences. So I'll tell you this about the four and a half inch XDE. The ergonomics are great if you like the Springfield ergonomics, like the XDS line. Fit and finish are top quality. It never had the slightest hint of a malfunction. And I enjoyed shooting it quite a lot, actually. I hope this video was helpful or entertaining. If it was, please hit the like button down below because that really does help me out. And consider subscribing so you can see my future videos when they come out. A big thanks, as always, to my Patreon patron supporters. See you next time.